So now that we've got the domain cleaned up, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do one more quick change. And I, I'm specifically waiting to do this till this point, because at this point now I have a study created. I'm going to go open up this uh, component, and I'm just going to get rid of these connectors. I was doing this earlier. I thought, oh, those are just kind of bugging me. I'll come back and I'll do them now. What you're going to see sometimes, especially when your add-in is enabled, is that you're going to get these messages that say the you know the system has been changed or something has been reset. Uh, do you want to reset the domain? And in this case, like if I come in here and, and move some of these around, that's going to create some problems for me. In fact, for lids, I'm going to undo that move. For lids, I usually recommend you just come in here and fix them all so they don't move or add mates as needed. But if you go in and you make a change, this is likely to happen. The model geometry or project settings have been modified. Do you want to reset the computational domain? So the answer to this question in this scenario is yes, because I fixed that body on those uh, glands, uh, and I want the domain to be recalculated. You can do that manually if you want to. It's totally up to you. But if you go in and you set up something like a symmetry condition or periodicity, or you manually set the size of your domain, or you customize something, do not click yes, because that'll throw away all the work you've just done. Okay. I usually don't tell it to remember my choice because sometimes I do want it to reset like this and other times I don't. Now here's the rub. If you leave the flow study on or the flow add-in on and you have your study open, this thing's going to bug the tar out of you. It's going to just non-stop be bothering you. So I recommend if you've got a lot of changes to do, do it before you create your study or turn your add-in off temporarily, do all your work come back in and let it rebuild the domain and then it may also reset the mesh. In this case I didn't really have anything going on in the mesh but I can reset the mesh settings which resets the basic mesh uh, and everything else that goes along with that.